Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are proud to announce the first early access release for Quantum Vitas. This is the official website which has been more or less established. In the home page is download and learn more. Basically Quantum Vitas consists of three parts. The core program of Quantum Vitas, that is the GUI interface that I programmed, which is only below one megabyte. Then it's the Quantum Espresso engine for Windows and for Linux. The third part is pseudo-potential libraries. Quantum Vitas comes with by default SSSP library and also pseudo-dojo library. You can also extend to PS library. So if you go to the official website and press download here, on this page, you can find all of the um, things that you need. So for Windows, I would recommend if this is the first time, you can download here basically all three parts, Quantum Vitas, Quantum Espresso, and pseudo-potential libraries. But later on, if you want to upgrade Quantum Vitas, you only have to download the core program here. Yeah? And then on Linux, there's no ready-to-use Quantum Espresso binaries, so you have to install that. I have some other videos about how to install Quantum Espresso on Linux. On Ubuntu, it's very easy. You only need one command. Then I recommend you download this one, that's the Quantum Vitas plus the pseudo potential libraries. Later on, if you want to upgrade, you can uh, download only the core program here. Yeah? You could also download separately the pseudo potential libraries, the default one, and also the PS library. It is not included by default because it is a little bit too large. But you can download this and put it into the pseudo potential library, and the program will recognize that. You can also use that. Some details about how to use, especially how to use the program in Linux, you can go to the quick start in the official website. Yeah. And uh, this is basically a detailed explanation. If you are just curious what Quantum Vitas would look like, you could also directly download the core program to test. Yeah? It will also run without Quantum Espresso and without pseudo potential libraries. It's just that then you cannot do any calculation, but you can already see how the user interface works. Uh, if you are interested in some technical part of Quantum Vitas, you can go to GitHub and look at the README page. Also go to the release, and uh, the, there is a detailed feature list of what I have implemented. So here I will not go to detail, but I will just show you what Quantum Vitas can do. Yeah, I have, I have already run some calculation with Quantum Vitas, and I will show you one by one the result, so you get a feeling what it can do. First, silicon. Quantum Vitas is organized in a way that all of the projects are basically subfolders in the workspace folder, and then the calculations are further organized into different folders under the project folder. So with this, you can do multiple calculations and they don't influence each other. Uh, we first see the geometry, and this is FCC lattice, and we could plot actually conventional cell, and, and then you see that this is silicon. This is also a feature of quantum vitas to translate the primitive cell to the conventional cell. And then this is tensile state calculation, and Fermi energy, and there is a gap. We could also do a bands calculation, you could see a gap there, it's an indirect semiconductor. We can not only calculate the tensile state of a semiconductor, but also that of a metal. For example, this is aluminum, and the Fermi energy is in the middle of a band, so this is a metal. We could also calculate a molecule. For example, this is the molecular dynamics of water molecule. We could plot the kinetic energy. Temperature is oscillating around 1000 Kelvin. And this is because we set Anderson thermostat and the target temperature is 1000 Kelvin. So we could also do this molecular dynamics calculation. Then for graphene, we could also calculate the bands. There is a direct point at the Fermi energy. We could see what is the geometry of graphene. Uh, this is the primitive cell. We could extend that to, uh, let's say, 6 by 6 by 1. And then you see that this is the plot of graphene. Uh, we could uh, not only do non-magnetic calculation, we could also calculate magnetism. So this is iron. We could, uh, again, translate that to the conventional cell so that uh, we know how it looks like. It is FCC lattice. And then first we could do self-consistency calculation with magnetism. You see here, we deliberately use non-collinear calculation just to show you that it works. Of 
course here it does not really uh, make sense to use non-collinear but let's say we could calculate that with angle pointing into the x direction and then we could see how the magnetism evolves in the self-consistency step yeah this absolute magnetism uh, total magnetic moment the y and z projection is basically zero and this means that there's approximately two bar magneton per iron atom in this case then we could progress further and uh, calculate the tensile state now it's just a spin polarized collinear calculation but you see that the spin up and spin down has different tensile state near the fermi energy and this is a spin polarized calculation uh, the last thing that I want to show is that we could also calculate the TDTFT of a benzene molecule. We first see what is the geometry of benzene molecule, and this is quite familiar. And then we uh, show the TDTFT. This is the result. You see the absorption spectrum of benzene molecule. There are many features of quantum vitas. I will not go to detail now. Maybe I will make some tutorial video about that. One thing that is nice is that you can copy the geometry from some input file uh, that you already have. For example, if you go to the GitHub page of Quantum Nerd and Quantum Espresso Tutorial, you will find all those input files. For example, this is a Silicon 100 surface relaxation. Then we could just uh, copy that and then go to Quantum Vitas, let's say a new project, Silicon 100 surface, and then we can paste from external and then save. And you see that the geometry is already pasted. Yeah, for the band calculation, you can also paste the k point. If you already have some input files, or if you can find some input file from the internet, for example, my GitHub, you could already redo some calculation with Quantum Vitas quite easily. Yeah. So just one reminder that this is the first early access version. There could be some bugs and there could be some features that does not um, work as intended. So if you observe any of that, please be so kind and um, be patient. Uh, just tell me what doesn't work. Uh, another thing is that we are collecting ideas about what to implement next. Uh, do you want NEB calculation or hybrid functionals, phonon calculation? Yeah, just leave a comment below and we will take that into account. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Welcome to download my software. Again, it is here in the official website, quantumvitas.org. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.